Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Pastors Game 2 Raider franchise. And this is the, I suppose you could call this the preseason, offseason edition. This is going to be a longer video uh, to start. Josh Jacobs does make it barely into the Pro Bowl, which we think is pretty cool. There we go. We got Mullen in the house as a cornerback. Cornerback three. He barely makes it in. And kicker Carlson gets that. So three Raiders make the, make the Pro Bowl this year. That'll do, Pig. That'll do. Let's go ahead and advance the week. Don't really care about the, the Pro Bowl. Who cares about the Pro Bowl? Do you? I don't. I don't think they should just get rid of that altogether. We're looking at the Denver Broncos and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for your 2002 Super Bowl 57. I wonder who's going to do it. I, I got my money on Tom Brady and the Bucks. I mean, why not? Why not? Oh, my goodness. And the Denver Broncos, your Super Bowl 57 champions. The MVP being Josie Jewel. Wow. And here we look at the uh, yearly awards. This is what we want to look at before. Dak Prescott gets MVP. Cooper Cup, Offensive Player of the Year. Von Miller. Von Miller? Von Miller's the Defensive Player of the Year? Wow. Hmm. Interesting. I've got about, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 prospects that I think I want uh, to look at. This guy right here looks pretty good to me for an undrafted. Uh, all we really need is good blocking. I like that. Um, it'd be nice if he had decent speed, but I like that acceleration. That good to great acceleration is probably what sold me the most. Uh, the fullback just needs to get to the hole quickly, and then he needs to be able to block. So... Good grade there with uh, solid strength. Uh, looking at his skills, the run block is A to C. Um, the run block defense is A to C. And, I mean, finesse and run block power B to D. So I think that could be good. Uh, the fullbacks don't need to be superstars, but this is our guy. I think we're going to get him. I don't think anyone's going to draft him. I think, like we said, Derek Carr may be out of here. And... This is really the only quarterback I'm interested in in this draft, this Ian Rudnick. But take a look at him. Uh, you see he's willing to take risks as a passer. Beautiful spiral. Pressure doesn't phase him, which we think is great. Does well to avoid sacks by throwing the ball away good. Plays well within the in, within and outside the pocket. That's key. Fast prototypical throwing motion, which is also key. So gets the ball out quickly um, and gets out of the pocket quickly. Um, good excel, excellent elite, uh, great to elite acceleration, great to elite change of direction, great to elite strength, great to elite throw power. I think this guy looks pretty good. It doesn't say elite, but has a lot of potential. Short accuracy, I think it's going to be huge. Throwing awareness, huge. Under pressure, huge. Break sack. I mean, we hardly actually break sacks, uh, but a deep ball actually is a B, and that's for a rookie. So, um, I like him, and I think I'd be willing to uh, potentially trade Derek Carr if we can get move up in the draft to to get him. Got Devonte Clark marked. Uh, I think I like him. He's got good height, six two height. Needs work on simple concentration drops. That does not sound good, um, but really he's going to be the third or fourth guy, and. Um, I just need him to be able to make some tough catches. And so that concentration drops is a little annoying. He does have good to great speed. Not amazing. But again, I'm not looking for a whole lot from him. That catching traffic is what I really want. Uh, he's got an A on that. Which, again, at a slot position might be kind of the guy. I don't really need the, the deep route. He's a B for that. Um... Spectacular catches B might need that if I have to throw it into a pinch. Uh, but we like him as a second rounder potentially, and he probably won't make it. <laughs> he probably won't make it. Jojo Clayton is another guy, deep threat. 
Uh, his acceleration is good. Again, playing the slot, that's huge. Uh, and he's got good speed. Um, he's got a D in catching, though. And the other guy had a B in catching. So, so I don't know. I don't know, JoJo. And then we have one more with Tyler Amos. Again, later in the rounds, his second or third round draft pick. And I think this guy might be the fastest. Yes, he's the fastest player that we're able to see. Uh, Tyler Amos, great elite acceleration, great elite speed. Um, B with catching. Uh, this guy actually looks a lot better than the other two. So Tyler Amos is kind of the guy that we really want to go after. Um, and so we'll probably go at him in the second round, maybe. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, but we do like Tyler Amos. There's only one middle linebacker we like, and that's Nathan Flanagan. I'm only going to draft the pass coverage middle linebacker for the all defense that we're running. And I do like him. Good to great speed. Great uh, jumping ability. Um, I think he looks really good for the draft pick where he's at. A to C on zone coverage. B on man coverage. Um, I like him. So he's a guy on our list. Let's go to cornerback. Bum, 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 bum. These are going to be long shots because these are all first or second rounds. Rodriguez, take a quick look. Um, six foot man to man, great elite speed, probably the fastest corner. Um, good press, good hit power, which is okay. But to see on zone coverage, but again, he's a rookie. Uh, and a C in man coverage. So he's a fast guy and he's able to press. So the other guy here, McCoy, aggressive ball hawk I like for better or worse. Ooh, has a motor that runs. Okay, off the looks for the ball. To rip the ball, show discipline. Uh, another good guy here in this one, we get a little less on the press. Man coverage is a B though, solid B, and the, and his own is a C. Decent player. I don't know if he's a first, one, first or second round player, so we'll see what he falls to. Uh, Ezekiel Upshaw, elite acceleration. So not bad. Quickly, we'll just take a look at the halfback, uh, an elusive back uh, in the second or third round. And he'll probably get taken. Uh, but I did like his, I did like his combine. I think we'll get a second combine, won't we? So not too bad here. Four more players, two left ends, two right ends. Uh, I do think we need to do something with the left end. The left end is is not good. Uh, Zach Maynard, again, this is a great. Actually, this is a fantastic prospect. Um, they have this as a top fit for us, but uh, I really like him. But I doubt we're going to get him. The first round is probably going to that quarterback. Uh, unless we get two first round picks, which we may end up with if we give up Derek Carr. Uh, Derek Carr is getting older though. And I'm not sure if they'll be willing to give up a first round for Derek Carr. We might have to give up more uh, with that. Zach Maynard, and then we have RJ Flynn. This guy. This is the third, fourth rounder, but check this out for third or fourth round. 6'2, 269. Uh, lots of good player notes here. I don't see anything negative here. Physical player. Uh, loves to utilize his spin. He's got a good spin move. Um, swift over on. Also has power. Has a motor. Looks to rip the ball. Shows good discipline. That's really all good things for a third, fourth rounder. Uh, and he's also got some pretty good stuff. His strength is marginal, but again, as a rookie, I think we can do something about that. Uh, I kind of like him, and he's probably going to be closer to the guy that we go after because uh, we'll have to draft later in the uh, later in the draft for that. Last is the defensive tackle, Devon Shaw. He looks good. They also have him picked for us. Okay, interesting that he's got elite speed. Don't really think about speed for the defensive tackle. So I don't know that that's really all that great. But I did like just the A on tackle, which we think is huge. Um, and then the impact, not the impact blocking, it's the power moves. The power moves are the A to C, and that's good. 
Javon Shaw here. Also, they think we should like him and another guy with great elite speed and a pretty good combine. So those are the players. Okay, now let's look at this mock draft. So we uh, you, you saw some of the players we were looking at. Um, let's see who's who who's out of there. So Wembley's not on our list. Um, so far, the quarterback is not being taken. The quarterback is not being taken. We could take the quarterback right here. If it plays out the way this mock draft is going. Wow, we could we could get a lot of our guys. I don't think the only person that Okay, Zach Maynard was on our list. Nobody else was really on our list here. Nice. Let's take a look at our team. See what we need. Uh, because okay so we need a quarterback we got to get a quarterback we might need to get two quarterbacks so I'm thinking maybe a backup out of the free agency and then we bring in a rookie and get ready to trade Derek Carr that's what I'm thinking uh, we don't need half of these guys yeah those bottom three we don't need no fullback we're going to try to draft a fullback and we are low on receivers. We need to get one receiver. Oh, I'd be great to get Adams. That's the guy we're thinking about. Tight end, we seem to be okay. Maybe we could pick up a, a free agent tight end. Um, okay, need a center. Maybe out of free agency as well. Uh, so you can see there the left end. That's why I was looking at the left end. We are struggling there, especially after losing Cleveland Farrell, which is a big loss. And we need defensive tackles. Mm. So the idea is potentially to move Max Crosby to the left end position and get him out of this left linebacker position and also the oh we lost Diablo hmm and the other idea was to move one of these guys to left outside linebacker so we have enough linebackers but I don't know um, with the corners See, this is what I mean. I don't think we need to draft any corners. <sighs> I think we're good on corner. Um, and in Merrick and in Love. All right, now let's take a look at these free agents. All right, let's see who we got out here. Ooh, Derwin James, Kareem Hunt, Deontay Johnson, Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley, okay, yeah, all right. Um, Poyer. Odell Beckham still trying to find a team. So the Chargers let him go. And Gakwe won. He won um, the award and he's let go. Jarvis Landry. Okay, so this is not too bad. People were talking about how this was too many stars, but I don't think this is too bad. I don't think this is too bad at all. Uh, this guy's interested. Hmm. 33 Bozeman. Oh, what the money is. Expected value is 10 million. We have 21 million in cap. All right, let's go over to tight end. Ingram Hooper. OJ Howard. Okay, so they like that we have a franchise quarterback. Do we do the okie do and wait to trade Derek Carr? I think we do. I think we do. They say we're a playoff contender. I think OJ Howard might might be the guy. He's got good value at five mil per year. Let's see if we can get him. We'll make the offer. 
I think I want to make the offer here with this guy. Uh, let's get three years. Who else is in the list? Derwin James, Poyer, Odell Beckham. We're going to pass on them. Oh, they want to come here anyway. Ooh, Tremaine Edmonds. Tremaine Edmonds at 25 years old. 87 speed. Ease. Ah. That would be. That would be legit. Nine mil a year. And he's kind of interested. I'm so curious about the quarterback. I want to get up and take the quarterback so early. No quarterback is taken. The right tackle, which was the number one pick, wasn't he? Oh no, Mari Davis is still there. Quarterback is still not. Oh, the quarterback is taken at 17 now. Oh man, do y'all think we can wait for the quarterback? I think now might be the time to trade. Derek Carr. Let's see if we get some offers for him first. Hunter Henry in a third round by New England. That's why I said they might be interested. Baltimore. They don't need a quarterback. They do not need a quarterback. This is the market for Derek Carr right now. I feel like I'm giving up some stuff here. What we're doing is getting cap space though. All this for number one. They take it. And so we uh, we trade their car. Phillips, great. Man, that's a that's a that's a lot of value for for this quarterback. We we just gave up a lot of money, a lot of stuff for for what I hope will be um, our next franchise quarterback. Okay, we signed Bozeman. We signed defensive tackle. We did get we did get the tight end. We got LaMarcus Joyner. Uh, we got Solomon Thomas. And we got Bozeman. Let's get, let's go with Tyler Huntley. We're gonna go with Tyler Huntley. Um, 25 year old. Backup. We're signing you as a backup. If you are interested, Miko Hardman, though, uh, I'd, I'd be willing to sign him. Player friendly. I'd be happy with those. Those are, those are two players that we don't absolutely need, uh, but would be nice. Let's look at my signings. We do get them. Let's go. Oh, we get both of them. Okay, so we get the backup quarterback. Um, and we get Miko Hardman. Nice. Wow. I like it. Uh, let's look at this last mock draft. Number five. So we get the offensive lineman. Ooh, a quarterback goes at five. That's Chris Gatewood. Okay, so we're at 14 and at eight. Ian Riddick goes at 17 in this mock draft. Oh man, I'm gonna be so upset if they get Ian. Ugh. Okay. We're going to let it go at its own pace uh, just to kind of create a little suspense. I hope we got to get through eight picks without them picking um, our guy. <laughs> we don't want them to pick our guy. Um. Okay, this is interesting that you can Pittsburgh choose Maurice Davis. Nice. Uh, who? Managed staff. Managed roster. Wait a minute, but what about? Hmm. 
Langford, okay. The offensive lineman continues. Oh, there it is. View your draft board. Okay, so they're doing their thing. Uh, I hope Gatewood. Gatewood, just go first. I was trying to move. I thought you could... Wembley goes and so far so good none of our guys have gone in this draft um, I do want to look at actually I do want to look at that corner to see see what we got here cornerback uh, this guy we want to look at so I see college pro day but what else we're supposed to learn something else about him I don't know I don't know what the um, the scouting thing did for us so maybe it just took their percentage up oh they take uh they take Gatewood so we may be in the we we may be in the clear to draft our guy. Come on, one more pick. Come on, Arizona. You don't need a quarterback. You got you got a guy. You got Kyler Murray. You don't need to spend a first round on a quarterback. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go pick our player. We want. We want this guy right here. Hopefully, we don't reach. Nice, big pick for us. Ninety-one acceleration, ninety-two change of direction, eighty-four speed, ninety-four throw power. He's got Devonte Adams to throw to. Skills. Oh yeah, we love it. Ian Rudnick. Let's see if I can say that name over and over again. Ian Rudnick. Uh, very cool. Alrighty. So quarterback is dealt with. Oh man, I'm excited. I am excited. Mark you off. Okay, so the next thing we want to do with this second pick. Uh Let's take a look at our roster real quick. I'm gonna go take a look at our roster real quick and see see what we got here. So we did pick up a quarterback. Let me get a fullback later. Nico Hartman. We may not need that receiver that we were looking at. We're good at tight end. Not going to do any of these. Left end. Defensive tackle. We do need. Uh, I. Th I think I think cornerback is what we should should go at. I think I'm, I'm thinking about that one corner. Oh, they just took him. They just took who I wanted to take. Teddy went to the Lions. Um. Okay, let's go to pick our player and see who do we want here. Uh, hmm, I thought I was going to pick Amos later. Seiko Upshaw and I didn't want those guys. Let's see what's left. We we definitely could use a tackle. We 
definitely could use an offensive lineman. Maybe not a left tackle though. Need the right tackle. Also, let's take a look at this in real quick. Mm. 37 seconds left. This, was this guy the fast guy? No, it wasn't. Oh, I think we took the right tackle. I didn't get to pick in in time, so we chose that guy right there, which I'm not sure was a good pick I've got it we're in the second round right yeah second round okay I gotta make a quicker decision oh so this receiver still here which one of these oh Amos was the receiver second round I did like Flanagan Did like Flanagan, and I think I did like this guy. Ricky Monroe. We do need a defensive tackle. I wanted. I want to get this guy, but we got Hardiman. So let's go ahead and get the defensive tackle. Nice, another good pick. Nice. Alrighty, I'm excited. I'm excited for this draft. Very, very nice draft for us. I think we got a lot better. Um, okay, so the so the rookie quarterback is a 74 overall. And right tackles a 72, not bad. Also a 74 overall with Ricky Monroe. And Harold's a 70. Turned out to be a pretty good pick late in uh late in round four. I think that's a pretty good pick. It's 96, 97. Agile strength catch. I think he looks pretty good. Um, fullbacks a 69. I think he's better than what we had there. And a 65 corner. I think it's a strong class. I like it. Um, I'm very curious to see what, what Ian Rednick is going to do. Mr. Rednick. You have an opportunity. You have an opportunity to make something and do something special. From Clemson, hailing from the Southern Carolinas, Boise State. Okay, RJ Flynn's from Purdue, hometown. I think I might change Max Crosby to left end. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna change Max Crosby, who almost hit release to left end, which I think he should still be good there. Hopefully they don't tax him too much. Uh, for that, let's see what what he's rated there. Oh yeah, he's rated a ninety there, which is where that's where he should be. I think we might do the same thing with. Uh, Move Chandler Jones to the right end, which is where he should be. Be Diablo, I'm happy to put there. I want to see him develop as a right end with 91 speed and 92 tackle. I think he's perfect for uh, coming off of the edge there. And 
left outside linebacker, I think that'll be good. I think having those guys on the line will be fantastic. Um, Jalen Brown and Jonathan Abram also look like they're in good shape there. Uh, I think everything else we're pretty good with. And that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. The 2023 season is uh, getting to be underway with a brand new look. Raiders change at the quarterback position always is exciting for any team. Uh, really interested to see how this team comes together. Lots of new speed added to the receiver core. Um, a few adjustments to make, but all in all, really excited for what we got coming up next. So stay tuned. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you can be a part of the part of the story. In the meantime, God loves you and so do I, and I will see you when I see you.